Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. What are farmers doing to feed the planet? They're using Quadtrek technology, soil management, and planting systems from Case IH to foster a better growing environment that maximizes yield potential. Visit CaseIH.com to be ready. What's the most accurate way to lay drainage tile? Some say you should use a laser. Others say GPS works fine. I'll give you some pros and cons in today's Iron Talk. Using a laser to keep an accurate measure of depth has been done for a long time and it works pretty well. With rolling terrain, there are some challenges. You'll need to move the laser multiple times as you move through the field. The other big challenge we've run into is with wind. When the wind is really blowing, it can wiggle your laser, forcing you to stop for the day. GPS signals don't really care about the wind, and you save time as you don't have to move anything around as you're tiling a field. The real question about GPS is how accurate will that signal be when you're laying tile, especially if you have little if any slope to work with in some fields. The answer certainly depends on the quality of the GPS signal you're working with. When you hear about RTK being accurate within an inch, that refers to side-to-side -side accuracy on the soil surface. The vertical accuracy for depth control is commonly believed to be twice as far as the side-to-side -side accuracy. So if your signal gets you within one inch side to side, it may be as much as two inches away up and down. We've laid a lot of tile over the years using RTK GPS guidance. Our experience has been that the speed is far greater than laser and the accuracy is very good. We lay mostly four and six inch tile and have not had any flowability problems nor have we suffered from insufficient drainage. There are advantages to using both laser and GPS when installing drain tile. The decision is up to you which way you go on your farm. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.